Namani National Congress Party leader Musalia Mudavadi and court leader Raila Odinga have given finally all indications that the much touted opposition super alliance might become a reality. And to set the ball rolling, ANC, which has been pushing for the idea, will hold its National Governing Council meeting tomorrow. On Spotlight 2017, our senior political affairs reporter Duncan Hayemba focuses on ANC's push for the super alliance. The writing has been on the wall for a few months now, but the week saw the two main men, ANC's Salim Davadi and court leader Raila Odinga, begin to test the waters with the revelation that indeed they are ready to roll with the National Super Alliance. <laughs> Raila and Mdavadi tagged along for two days in Jubilee Backyard, making explicit political statements. <laughs> ANC party officials confirming the same as the party holds two-day high-level meetings whose climax is Friday's National Governing Council meeting. The NGC is expected to endorse formation of a super-alliance between ANC and other opposition parties. Here is a situation where uh, we are not only considering a flag bearer for NASA, but we are considering formation of a government, an all-inclusive government, next government, come next, next general election, and the NASA to form that government uh, because of what Kenyans wishes and the beliefs are as at now against the Jubilee government. In what appears to be its strategy not to antagonize already settled parties in code, that's ODM, Wiper Party and Ford Kenya, ANC appears to be walking in without preconditions. Yes, there will be need to discuss positions, but let us not engage in speculation as to who will get what and who will get what. That will come. That will come. I can tell you the discussions are going on at the level of the party leaders. It is going to be a long process and a very delicate one. But let us give it time so that we give Kenyans an, a, a coalition that they have desired to have for a long time. Talking about great leaders and the great leadership who are coming together and uh, sacrificing their ambition is not a new beginning. They all did one time or the other. History can confirm that. So what I see is a situation where as much as there are so many milestones and the challenges and the intentions uh, and the conspiracy theories already in place to scuttle NASA, believe me you, NASA is real and it is reality and very soon uh, the big announcement, just like the smoke from the chimney, you will see the white smoke. The ANC party has also been working to bring on board other stakeholders, for instance the trade unions, churches and civil society groups. We cannot leave the leadership of this country to politicians alone. We want also the other stakeholders, the trade unions, who represent the workers, people who do the work, the churches, the civil society to also feel part of the process. So it is an issue of ensuring inclusivity. Apart from ANC, other parties being approached to join the alliance include Bomet Governor Isaac Ruto's Mashinani Party and the Kanu Party. But Kanu Chairman Gideon Moy has denied such claims. Martha Karuofna, Kenya and Peter Kenneth have also since abandoned the super alliance bandwagon.
hawa jamaa watapenya na watakuwa na nafasi ile rais ya kuiba kura these things are delicate my friend take we are going to we will be moving lakini we are very clear atuwezi atuwezi tukakubaliana atutukayo mpaka may may ndio watu wa Kenya wajue nani atakuwa flag bearer wa court ANC believes only a super alliance will be the key to conquering Jubilee party which now has over 10 political parties uh, the ground is shifting and uh, it is reality if anybody is burying his head in the sun like ostrich uh, the possibilities of towers built on sand collapsing and coming down is very fast so this is a peaceful political revolution and the nasa is for the people by the people and of the people of kenya duncan hemba ktm